Hello and welcome to Biscuit Arcade. I'm Mike, he's Corin, we're Biscuit Arcade, we're normal, sensible people who don't, definitely don't say disgusting things right off the bat. Cool, let's go! <laughs> oh, let's, let's that's why you were calm. staring at me. Hey, <laughs> can you explain why they were like flying lily pads? Yeah, it's so that there can be vines where there shouldn't be vines. Oh. Right, there's a cunningly hidden banana. Is that what? Is that your favourite sex act? Yes. You like pull down your trousers and just like a <laughs> banana flops out. Ooh, banana! <laughs> and that's what she says, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to. Oh, fuck it, in order to bust it. Oh, it's got a coconut on it because he's got the coconut gun, which fires, fires in spurts. If he shoots you, it's, it's gonna, gonna hurt. hurt. There you go. Oh. You guys didn't know we were rap gods, did you? But you we're like live and learn, my friends. We're M and M. We're M and M. Well, we're M and C, really. Smarties. Right. So What's with to... the weasel fox? Oh, that's Snide. We'll go and see him uh, in a bit. Who's this guy and why has he got like red eyes? Okay, this is Funky Kong. Oh, is he wearing sunglasses? Yes. Because he looks like he's just got red eyes. He's just really cool. Right, so we need to get some shit off of him. Hey, yeah. been a long time, I, got way more. I could buy two of your coconut guns, bitch. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. But what does Funky Kong even do? Why is he selling rocket launchers? Yeah, he decided, like... So he was doing Funky's flights in the old games. Yeah. Right, and now, now in this game he's running an armory for some fucking reason. Yeah, it's a bit weird that everyone's got guns in this one, isn't it? Like, all of the Kongs have been given new, like, roles which don't really match what they're for. Like, Candy Kong has a music shop now. Oh. I don't fucking know why. Is she the boobs one? Yeah, she's boobs Kong. <laughs> More like Chesty Kong. Yeah, more like Titty Kong. <laughs> Good one. Okay. okay! Right, let's go and bust that fucking Diddy out. I nearly said something that I was going to regret. Let's bust a Diddy. Let's go! Go and bust Diddy out. That makes it sound like... Wait, the ammo's available now. But you have 50 coconuts anyway, so why would you pick up the ammo? Good one. Fuck. Perfect. Oh, how do I? Do I not do this? Oh, there's. I remember. There's like. That's not the switches. I have to hit the switches and then they they light up. I think. Oh, there's a lot of ammo everywhere, isn't there? So where was the switches? Right, there was one down here, wasn't there? Or maybe. <laughs> that's a great sliding animation. <laughs> Good Kong job, Rare. Failing to fly. Right. Let's do. The fish are nice. There's some really nice details in this game. Yeah, I appreciate that. But there's some really nice lighting effects in this game as well. Mm. But yeah, like that's the sort of thing. Yeah, like... no banjo tui, but mm -hmm. oh, but fucking get up there! Like I was saying in the previous episode, like it's a shame, like you know, they can't go back and fix it after it's been released. If you know yeah. what I mean. Well, I mean, like I guess they could a bit with like different versions of the car. Yeah, that happened a bit. I, you're supposed to fucking hit this switch from afar, but if you if you're like the other side of the bank, it just phases out of existence because you're too far away. Mm -hmm. So it's like thanks, Raw rare, distance brilliant. So you've got to remember where it is. I guess I'll just sort of fire. There it, it is. is. There it is. Fire and spurt. This seems like brilliantly designed. Great. <laughs> That's like outside the coconut gun sphere of influence. Yeah. We can do it. Also known as range. I do like Fuck's sake, right. I do like the graphics for the coconut. It's just like a real coconut. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna, they're not going to invent a coconut just for you. Oh, well, there's perfectly good coconuts just knocking around. Inventing a coconut just for you. But no, like it, it does annoy me in games where you've got like strict deadlines because that means like some games are really shit just because I didn't have enough time. Yeah. Like, Sonic 06 is fucking garbage, and I'm sure it wouldn't have been amazing if it had, had more time, but... It would have been, like, maybe, like, serviceable. Yeah, it would have been a competent game. It just makes me sad. Because, like, these days, that's why you've got, like, day one patches and stuff. It's not because... Oh, it's not because they... Oh, brilliant. Reset! I need to Photoshop in a Harry Potter broom under those legs. <laughs> well, you can. I'll let you edit this one. Yeah. Quong itch. Anyway, yeah, Sonic. But yeah, like, 
that's why like day one patches and stuff exist. It's not because they fucked up loads of stuff and then realised after they shipped it. It's because they literally aren't allowed any more time to work on it because they've got to start shipping it. Yeah. So they immediately start working on being able to fix the problems with it. Yeah. Like yeah, I think that's that was like one of the leading theories, like why Rare immediately became shit when they went to Microsoft because. Like, in general, Nintendo were really lenient about their deadlines. Like, if Rare were like, look, we need another six months, otherwise this isn't going to be good. Mm. They would just let them have it, whereas Microsoft are just like, we said we want September, it's September. Yeah. Let's ship it. Just makes me sad, yo. Because, like, why? Am I right? Why? Just... Why indeed? Why? Right, let's get back to that island. Let's get that coconut gun. Let's fucking... That means I have to hit that switch again. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck you, crash. Do you have to buy the gun again? Uh, I should have. I think you still I have saved to, right yeah, after you I got saved the gun. up to getting the gun. Yeah, I have the gun. That's fine. <laughs> have you got to go all the way to the new level, though? I guess. Yes. That's fine. We can do it. It's fine. Have you ever, have you ever eaten like a legit coconut? A long time ago. We went and bought it special. The Those things are fucking weird. The coconut water inside is gross. Coconut milk isn't really a thing either. It's just a combination of water and ground up insides, right? I remember one time I went to the supermarket with a, a girlfriend at the time who was an idiot. Right. You know that, I mean, I'm going to say this including... Like, I'm going to say this knowing that this bracket includes you to some extent, but like, okay. you know those people who, like, are incredibly impuls impulsive buyers who will just see a thing and be like, I have to buy that. Yeah, I'm not really like that, though, to be fair. My experience of you is otherwise, but sure. <laughs> No, I just wasn't in a good place yesterday. But anyway, yeah, so I went to the supermarket with his girlfriend and she was like, Oh, they have coconuts, I'm going to buy a coconut. I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do with a coconut? Why do you want a coconut, for God's sake? Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, I like coconut. I just, there's nothing weird about that, I just want a coconut. So I'm like, oh, fine, just buy a coconut. How are you going to open I'm it? not going to have an argument with you about a coconut, let's buy a coconut. So we bought this fucking coconut and then we got it back to her house and she was like, How do you open a coconut? I was like, I don't know, have you got anything to open a coconut? She was like, no. So what did the fuck did you buy a coconut for? What are you going to do with it? Hammer. <laughs> I think that's what we used. We used a hammer. But like, coconuts don't even taste that nice. They don't really taste of anything. I just don't understand how some people are able to like buy a thing and then not even have the most basic plan of what they're going to do with it, having bought it. You know? <laughs> it's like, did you not think beyond the moment at all? Like, I know people say you should live in the moment, but... Not to that extent. That's special, mm. you know? I don't know. Right, let's go find those other two fucking switches. Yeah, man. But it's like, it's my boy gross. Because I remember I got it like with my dad, and we got it home, and like I think we hit it with a hammer, probably spilling stuff everywhere. Like you're supposed to like make a little hole in it so you can pour the. Yeah, juice I think out. generally people like use it, like a like a corkscrew thing and like, I think like so. drill into them, right? Yeah, but like, yeah, like the water inside doesn't really taste of anything, and the like the meat inside the flesh. It, the flesh that's the one. The meat. In, <laughs> coconut meat <laughs> inside it doesn't really taste of anything and I remember having it I was like wait this doesn't taste like a bounty at all uh, disappointing yeah. but you know what is was a pleasant surprise we had mango earlier like actual mango that you cut up and it was really nice it was really really nice because I remember having like strawberries Although this or does go into, they taste a bit like shit this is a little bit like what we were just saying though. like you got this mango and you're like I have no idea how to cut a mango well, I, I wanted like, to learn you? I thought you bought it knowing what you were going to do with a mango. I was going to cut it up and eat it, obviously. <laughs> Mangoes are, like, fucking tricky to cut, though. They wasn't that bad at all. No, but it's... Oh, fuck off. It is a little bit like you look at a mango and you're like, I don't actually know how to cut this, though. Yeah, well, I didn't, but oh, now I it. do. Yippee! Way to go, Duke! Now that I'm free, I can help you by collecting <laughs> that was the red slowest bananas. Bananas. I'll just go and wait in the tag barrel until you need me and not pick up the banana right next to me that's been there the whole time. Like, I love... He doesn't even, like, leave the door. He just, like, teleports out of the cage, which he totally could have done at any time. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, thanks for opening the door. Now I'm gonna use my magical banana zipper warp without moving my feet in the slightest. <laughs> I'm just gonna teleport out. Oh, crash. Good. Thanks, N64. So now you you didn't even save, did you? I don't think I saved, for fuck's sake. I don't think I could be bothered, quite frankly. Yeah, that's fair. We're, uh, I think we're getting near the end of the episode. Do you know what? I'm just going to go and play one of the mini-games. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Because like I might be able to do that before it fucking crashes. Donkey Kong Glitch T4. Am I right? 
Well, we always said we were going to do Donkey Kong glitches, and technically we have. Like, unintentionally. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. That was a bit Rick and Morty. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we tried to do a dog... Uh, like, a one uh, ages ago, I sat Corin down, and I was like, Corin, look at all these crazy glitches in Donkey Kong 64, and, and you... I couldn't get any of them to work. Yeah. Just trust me, there is a million of them. I think I did eventually manage to phase through the island, didn't I? I think so, after, like, all day... Like after yeah. wasting, like, you know, what could have been spent recording, like, six to eight episodes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, play a minigame. Play... Don't don't play Jump, jump Jetpack, obviously. Rambi Arena, that's fun. You just fuck a lot Mick, of Mick, Mick, Cock, Big, Big. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck Cock is. Who's Big? Probably my sister. But... What's her name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Bex, for short. Rebecca. I, yeah, I think just because mine said Mick, she put Big, I think. <laughs> Broken home, Michael! Who the fuck is Cock, though? Me, I'm Cock. That would explain a lot, okay. I'm all Cock, all the time. All Cock and no trousers. <laughs> all Cock and no balls. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm a rhino. I'm a fucking rhino. Let's go. What do you do? Hit as, I get as much beaver as I can. Oh. It's the perfect way to end an episode. Mike Life imitates mad. art. Golden beaver. Yeah, you're always trying to look. You're trying to get that special beaver in games, yeah. as in life. The one that's just perfect to hit. Like you yeah. smack it and it just feels right. Yeah. It's just I just like to hit that beaver over and over again. Mm -hmm. Got to pop it. The trick is to line them up so you get the biggest fucking combo possible in a way that I just didn't do. Beaver combo. You got to smash multiple beaver that in quick missed, succession. Fucking missed it. Nice. That's good. You're not going to get your high score at all, are you? No. Uh, there was a period of time where I did nothing but just play this constantly. Fuck. That could have been a rad combo. Yeah, the trick is to hit the golden beaver at the same time as like four of the others, and then you get like all the points ever. Oh. Come on, you can I, need, I need another gold beaver. You're not going to get one? No, I'm not. Oh, nice one. Fuck. Fuck. 118. That's pretty sad. That's pretty shocking. And then you get a shot at the rhino's ass because you lose. <laughs> well, I didn't get onto my own high score table. That was nice. That was fun. Did you guys enjoy that? that you was got good. beaten by cock. I got fucked up by a cock. Well, you got beaten by cock, and that kind of changes. You know, it turns the tables a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Normally, you're the one beating the cock. Donkey cock. Donkey cock sixty four. Mmm, by penis. <laughs> Mmm, poor honey. Okay. Let's we'll get out of here. Yep, I think our commentary has just descended into just nonsense words and just random stream of consciousness ranting. Yep. Nice. Uh. Well, this is what our viewers love. Mm hmm. That's why they're here. They want to hear just the diseased contents of our brains. Stop licking my pop filter. Bye. What's wrong with you? We love you. Get out of my house. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you're not Corin. Who are you? <laughs> There's a homeless man licking my pop filter. Jeffrey, the homeless pop filter licker. I don't know. I just saw the door was open and I came in. And then I entered the house. Oh. No, but seriously, bye. Bye. <sighs> bye. <laughs>